Well, here it is, the Seabird Background Music Compact 1000. Been playing now for about uh, three days. Every once in a while it picks up a record and skips, but uh, aside from that, the machine is operating quite well. Anyway, this is a video to uh, the question of where the oiling points are in this machine. Let me just uh, power it off, which acts like the reject switch for some reason. You'll see it, you'll hear it drag and act weird and reject. Yeah. And there it is, power stopped and the records have stopped. Okay. So, bear with me here because uh, I've got to unload the records. Let me just take them off. They have a tendency to want to fall around. They're nine inches, they're a little bit on the clunky side to move around. And here's the bottom turntable. Uh, yours probably still has the black, but mine was flaking off and uh, getting all over the records, so I just kind of peeled it off. And placed that up here. Now, there's the motor, which is right below in this area here. I don't want to take this apart because this is not easy to do. Uh, this oddly designed box makes it almost impossible to get it in without banging stuff and wires and tearing stuff up yourself just by removing it. So, to remove the uh, this whole platter record changer from the box, you have to first un undo this deal here, because this is sort of clipped to the box. I believe this is a, a shipping uh, anchor, but uh, I, I left it on there. And you undo these two wing screws upper and lower to take you know they spin off and uh, it lift out of the grooves and I've seen a lot of people pull it from here I don't think that's a good idea because um, you end up uh, putting too much pressure on the bottom platter and you're going to create a slop and this machine did have a problem with that um, I had to tighten that up to some degree now the oiling points are pretty straightforward the motor underneath has two cat cups uh, it has one for the uh, upper shaft or bearings and, and one for the lower bearings. And then right here, this and this are the oiling points. Now, so you can see it's easy to get to. And what you want to do is avoid the. <laughs> oh, here we go. The, uh, the idler wheels, which <laughs> created quite a stir the other day. Um, anyway, um, you don't want to get any oil onto them because then you're going to slip and. You're gonna get like a, a you know a warble, and it's kind of a pain to get in there and clean it. And if you do get some on there, don't freak out. Just a little denatured alcohol and a little uh, maybe a cotton swab or two to press on there and spin it around and, and clean it out, and it should be fine once it dries. But so that's it. This is really the only thing Seabird wants you to oil. I mean, you can take it apart, you know, and uh, while you're underneath there, if, if any any of the actual gears look too dry to you. Uh, a little dab wouldn't hurt. Uh, just don't overdo it. Just a little tiny bit is, it will go a long way in this machine. Uh, and that's essentially it. So you're looking right at the two oil holes, right? That one and that one. This is not an oiling hole. This is just where the shaft is. Uh, it's a shaft bearing. I did put a little up there. So nothing negative happened. So nothing got all over the, uh, the cap stand. So uh, I mean, uh, uh, the idler, so everything should be okay with that. Mm. Doesn't look like much has happened, it's just kind of sitting there anyway. And that's it. The Seaberg background oiling points. And it's original ugly box that I don't know why they made to look like this. But they did. And it's ugly.